Today I have a MacBook Pro 13 inch with the M1 processor and I'm going to do some tests of the OpenGL performance. Uh, the, there are, I tested basically five different modes of o OpenGL to see what the uh, differences were and uh, here we'll start out with uh, mode zero and uh, this should be the slowest mode since it's it's doing the intermediate mode uh, the immediate mode and so immediate mode with uh, about a half a million triangles does four million cell cycles per second which isn't terribly bad and so now um, We'll try mode one, <clears throat> which is the compiled mode. And the compiled mode on many uh, computers is the fastest. And here it's up to uh, 21 mega, mega cells per second. And with, again, a little less than a half a million zones, a half a million triangles. And so now we'll try the, uh, the vertex mode. Uh, and let's see how we came out with the vertex mode. Oh, I ran it again. So with the vertex mode, it it uh, managed uh, 18 mega samples a second, which is a little bit slower the than the compiled mode. And now we'll try uh, the first uh, VOB mode. Uh, three. Quit. And you can see that managed uh, 800 frames per second. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll go to the, go to the, uh, the second VOB mode. And it managed 300 frames per second with a half a million zones. And so uh, let's uh, do the VOB mode with uh, a lot more zones. So let's uh, kick up the number of zones here. And so uh, now with uh, 17 million zones, it's still managing 21 frames per second in the second VOB mode. And so let's go back to the first VOB mode. And with, with the first VOB mode, it managed uh, 600 mega samples a second with the 17 million zones and it did the 100 frames in uh, 33 seconds. And so that's doing pretty good. And um, now we'll show the comparison between, that was native uh, mode, and here is running uh, an Intel version on the M1 machine. And so this is this is uh, back to the immediate mode with the M with the Intel version and with the Intel version it's going pretty slow in immediate mode and it managed only two million cell cycles per second with the half a million zones. And we'll try the um, try the compiled mode on the Intel version. And I kicked it up to 12 mega, mega cell samples per second, mega cells per second. 
And now we'll try the uh, the first vector mode. So this is the vector vertex mode. And uh, it's actually slower than the compiled mode. And now we'll try the uh, the first uh, VOB mode. And it does 800 frames a second <laughs> with the the uh, 200 uh, 200 zones, uh, half a million zones, and so we'll kick the number of zones up again here. on the Intel version. And there it did 500 megas cell samples per second on the mode, the first VOB mode. And now we'll try the second VOB v mode. And uh, It managed uh, 265 mega, samples, mega triangles per second using 17 million triangles. And so you can see that uh, the Intel, running the Intel version under Rosetta is much slower for the, the first two, first three modes and then the last two modes where basically everything's supposed to be running on the uh, uh, the video chip, it, it's about the same. And so, uh, but you can see there's a tremendous difference between the performance. It goes anywhere from uh, one mega sample per, or no, 2.5 is it what, what it was, 2.5 uh, mega cells per second up to, uh, what is it, 600 mega cell samples per second. So there's a tremendous difference in the uh, OpenGL performance on the uh, Mac Pro using the M1 chip.